come up to our tote, to our wing guy. And watch our tote plane. He waggled at me, I answer back. You can rest your thumb Don't fight me, you can follow me, or don't fight me. See where I am behind the tow plane? This is where you want to be when you start throwing this out.
Like we don't have a barrio today. A, a what? A barrio. We do have a barrio. Oh, no, the, that thing that fits. Oh, um... Oh, you went with the Freedom's Wings guys, wasn't it? In the <laughs> other ship? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, right. I forgot his no. name. Um, what's his name again? Bruce. Bruce, yeah. Yeah, no, I don't use that. You got your ass. <laughs> you got your ass. This is your glider. 4,000? Yeah. Is feet. Oh, so okay, so we're, we're fine. So this, so this is this is what thousand? The, the one right there is a thousand. Yeah, a thousand feet per minute. So we're going up four or five hundred so feet, three hundred okay. Yeah, Barry, you have to, just yeah. like the birds. Oops. Sinking. So if the needle goes down to zero, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, so that's anything down. below zero, so now it's going to go down. And what's our stall speed? Uh, well, you and me, it's dual is like 33, but it's a little choppy today, so probably a little higher. All right, you see that little trim lever on the left side? Can you reestablish that forward, please, one notch? Is it all the way forward? Yeah, go back forward with it. Forward? Okay. Yeah. Now that lets me take my hands off the controls and our airspeed stays at that set speed. You want to do a little of the flying round? Sure, yeah. Okay, so you need your right hand on the stick. And we got to look around for traffic. If you push forward, we go faster. If we pull back, we go slow. We don't want to go much below about 40, 45 miles an hour today, okay? Try to always keep our wings level. Are we pretty much trim? You got to string out at about 45 miles an hour, yeah? If you feel one wing or the other goes, you go with your hands and feet to keep it back level. We're still going up. The bigger barrier, five, yeah, six, seven feet. Who's the ladder glider? Mind control? Yeah. Okay. Try to keep your wings level so if you see the one wing level. How do you know if your wings level? You look out at the horizon. Look at the tips. Look at the wing tips in their reference to the horizon. Still climbing up. Okay, I'm gonna shut off the camera. Okay. Uh, take, take, take the control first. Sure, got it. Okay. All right. Now I can feel the seat kicking in. So we do a couple things. We gotta vary our air speed based on the air that we're in. If we're in down air, we go a little faster. If we're in upward, we fly a little slower. Part in your, your learning is to know your aircraft, what its optimum speeds are, okay? You see that yarn out there, right? Outside wiggling around on the pitot tube? Uh, or yaw string? Oh, this is the string, okay. Yeah. yeah. Now, if I try to make a turn and I'm not coordinated, that picks up on it. So if, let's say, let's say I'm going to make a little turn to the left and I don't use my feet and I just look left. And I push the stick a little to the left there, but I look left, look left, and I'll be there. Now watch the arm when I just use my hands. See it? It goes off to the right. Okay. That's, a, that's adverse yaw. Uh -huh. Okay? But when we use our feet, let's look again to the left, let's get clear, and we press our hands and our feet together, and we push, push. The yarn stays coming straight back at us. Follow along with me. And then we'll turn all day until I go right stick, right pedal. Try to relax on the controls. Two fingers, very light on the controls. Okay. Now, let's do a turn together, okay? We're going to do just a 90 degree turn to the left. So I look left. Where your wing is, that's 90 degrees. We push the stick and the pedal together. Push, push. Wait for the turn to happen. Back to the center. 
Back pressure, very light. Right on those controls now. I can feel your fight And then when we get done turning, right pedal, right stick, level out. Okay, why don't you try one to the left? Look left, just do a 90. Looks clear, stick and pedal, push, push. Push them both sideways, jump, go ahead, back to the center. And right before you get to 90 degrees, right pedal, right stick. Push them both together. Right pedal, right stick. Right right coordinated stick. turn, right? Coordinated, yeah. Follow me, we're going to do a whole 360 this time, okay? We're going to go to the left. So I look left. Nobody's there. Follow with me. Okay. Feel my input. Stick and pedal, push, push. Wait for the turn. Once the turn starts happening, back to the center. And enough back pressure so that our airspeed doesn't change. We want to keep the airspeed and the nose from dropping. If you pull back too hard, we're going to go too slow. If you don't pull back enough, we're going to go fast. And I'm going to level out a little early because we're in some bad air. Right stick, right pedal. All right. You want to try one of those? Sure. You want to go to the right? Uh, it doesn't matter. We just, we okay, let's better. go to the right this time. Look right. Okay. Right. right stick, right pedal, push, push. Push them both. Don't be, I don't even feel, feel those feet moving. you got to push it. Back to the center. Center, right there. Back pressure, a little bit. Okay, good. Let's try another one to the left. Look left. Stick and pedal, push, push. Wait for the turn. Back to the center. And back pressure. Good. Let's level back out. Right pedal, right step. Excellent. Good job. All right, we're going to do a whole 360 to the left. So look left. Stick and pedal. Push that pedal. Push that stick. Make it happen. Back to the center. Don't pull back yet. But go to the center first, then the back pressure. Oh, we're going to do 360. Yeah, go, okay. go, go, go do a full 360. Thank you. 
to feel the lift. Because what if your batteries go dead? All right? You've got to rely on your own natural instincts. I mean, I, that stuff is great. Technology is great. But you want to be able to feel the air. That's a much better way to be a pilot. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Okay, do you want to do a little more flying? Go ahead. You're sure. Yeah, you're still going up. Look, you're still going up 200, 300 feet a minute. Don't get any better than that. Keep your airspeed about 45 or so. Try to keep yourself in that pocket about that. right here, off your left side, all the traffic by the lake. Oh, okay. That's Delaware Water Gap straight ahead, where the mountain drops off. Yeah, that's where we got dropped last time, where we uh, got released. Yeah, a lot of that we can buy the gap. Today, the winds are coming from our backside, so we're not going as far downward. I mean, we have enough height, but um, we always try to keep, keep the wind in our pocket. I'm going to make a left. Okay, you got to look first. Did I see something over there? Yeah, yeah take back up towards the airport. Yeah, bring us up towards our airport. Where's our airport right there? Yep. Yeah. I'm just looking at the compass here. <laughs> Where the airport is at. I'm not familiar with the terrain. Well, <laughs> it's just like anything else. When you moved into New Jersey, you didn't, you didn't know the streets. Yeah. Now you know the shortcuts around all the streets. Well, same with learning to fly in the air. You learn by doing. A little more airspeed, about 50 miles an hour is our best flight speed. Wings level, keep your wings level. And it's up towards our airport. Go to the right, so. Stick and pedal, not just your hands, not just your feet. You have to fly with your hands and your feet. This can't be moving unless these are moving. If anything, a lot of times your feet will move without your hands moving. Trying to do a course today? No, 
a lot of guys go up and they try to get some mileage. Let's go to the right there. Uh, we're going to get a little upwind of the airport. We're still downwind of the airport. Watch the park glider if we get upwind. So look, let's get clear stick and pedal. Pretty push. Back to the center. Back pressure. we got to wait for the speed up a little bit. Good. Level out. Pedal and stick. Pedal and stick together. We're in some pretty down air, so put the cold to it a little bit. We can go a little faster. In down air, we go faster. In up air, we go slow. So you know that pretty low up in front of us. About a mile, maybe 500 feet above us. Just go straight. What's that? Yeah, we're going to get up into the airport. Wind's kind of coming a little bit on an angle through the airfield. Let's see what we get. As we get lower, we got to get closer to our airport. What's the uh, ideal uh, altitude? We want to be a thousand feet over the airport. Because we're going to keep pointing this direction. We're in some pretty, pretty bad air right here. I see another light on the phone. Oh, she's doing pretty good, though. But I don't know how there you can reach way up in front of us. Up higher and getting away from us. Let me take the ship because we're, we're getting into it like low, 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 low. At a thousand feet, 1400 MSL, I gotta be at my landing point, which is that barn on the other side of the lake. See that great building? Over here? Mm -hmm. That's our IP. Let's see if I can do a little save. If I can't do a little save, then we're gonna get ready to have to go in. Come on, Magic, give me a little kick. 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 Come on, Magic, give me a
I don't see anybody coming to you. Okay, we're gonna make our base leg. So this is base. This is base. And then this is final. final. Yes. Yeah. My airspeed 5560. Mm -hmm. I don't need any spoilers because I'm low. Nobody's at the airport threshold. Makes it easy to get home, and you're going 